Hello, this is an I Am Kitty Hollywood. Today's review is of that classic woman's film, Warner Brothers 1942 release, Now Voyager. It was based on the novel by Olive Higgins Prouty. The screenplay was by Casey Robinson. It was produced by Hal B. Wallace, directed by Irving Rapper. The score is by Max Steiner and the costumes are by Ori Kelly. It stars Betty Davis, Paul Henreid, Gladys Cooper and Claude Rains. It's about Charlotte Vale, a neurotic mess of a human being with a hideous domineering mother. On the verge of a breakdown, she meets psychiatrist Dr. Jackwith, who stands up for her and whisks her away to his sanitarium. She kind of recovers, so he says, go on a cruise. She goes on a cruise, she transforms herself physically, meets unhappily married man, Paul Henry. Blah, 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 blah. Camellias and famous astronomical talk ensues. Now, one of the best things about this film is Betty Davis's willingness to throw herself into a role. For her, it didn't have to be, oh, I must be glamorous the entire time. It, you could be plain, you could be, you could be ugly, you could be downright evil, and it didn't matter to her. So when this film was first going to be made, it was, um, it had director Edmund Golding assigned to it, um, and he had Irene Dunn attached to the film. He fell ill. No more Irene Dunn, no more Edmund Golding. Director Michael Curtiz was brought on. Now, Betty Davis had discovered the role by this point in time and decided that she wanted it, but she did not want Michael Curtiz because he apparently, in another movie they'd made together, had called her a goddamn nothing, no good, sexless, sexless son of a bitch. Why wouldn't you want to work with him? Anyway, she didn't. She got Irving Rapper on board instead. Apparently, the film was directed by a rapper with the assistance of Betty Davis, and what you see is what you get. Look, it's, it's a film about relationships more than anything else, Charlotte's relationships, and really the, the first one is Charlotte's relationship with her mother, played by the queen of domineering mothers, Gladys Cooper. Gladys Cooper is probably best known for My Fair Lady and Separate Tables. Now, oh, quite interestingly, uh, she was a pin-up girl in World War One. Anyhow, she was nominated for an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress in this. Actually, Betty Davis was nominated for Best Actress in this as well. Um, and the two of them together, well, they're lovely. They're lovely to watch. Mother, you're looking wonderfully well. Lisa told me you'd been ill, but I Lisa can... knows nothing about me. Step over there where I can see you. Turn around. Walk up and down. It's worse than Lisa led me to suppose. Just as lovely to watch together are Claude Rains the psychiatrist Dr. Jackwith and Charlotte. Claude Rains was a very well-respected character actor. Um, the Adventures of Robin Hood, The Seahawk, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington and King's Row, just some of his films. And he, again, was really well-versed in playing good and evil characters. Now, he'd apparently turned down Dr. Jackwith in Now Voyager because the role was too small. So Casey Robinson built it up. Thank you, Casey Robinson. And you see Betty Davis and Claude Rains working so beautifully together. Now, Betty Davis did say years and years later that she, she could see Charlotte and Dr. Jackwith eventually marrying and running the sanitarium together. And yeah, I can see that, actually. Well, I'm putting you on the board of directors. You knew I would, didn't you? How nice of you. I thought that this petition was going to be over here. What are you looking at, Dr. Owl? I'm just wondering. You the same woman who a few months ago had no single interest in the world? No. So, yeah, it's interesting. Apparently, Betty Davis 
her favourite actor to work with out of all, all of them was Claude Rains. The next relationship is that of Charlotte's and Jerry Durrance, romantic love interest played by Austrian Paul Henreid. Now Paul Henreid's real name was Paul Georg Julius Henreid Ritter von Wasselwaldingau, <laughs> but they got him to change it. Um, he hadn't done that many Hollywood films before this, but by God, this film put him on the map. Isn't it beautiful? Do you believe in immortality? And he apparently spent the rest of his life being accosted by women on the street, getting them, getting him to light their cigarettes for him. He also subsequently, much further down the track, became an accomplished television director. The, the final relationship I need to talk about is that of Charlotte's with Jerry's young, unwanted, maternally unwanted, is that a, anyway, daughter, Tina. Now, Tina is played uncreditedly by Janice Wilson. I've already raved about Janice Wilson at length in my review of The Strange Love of Martha Ivers. This young woman is terrific. She did not act for a long period of time after this. She, she gave it up and you know, it's our loss really, but she's wonderful to watch in this, both of them together. Oh, but I owe you so much. Daddy said I'm to pay you back. She wanted to know who was letting me call him, and all I could say was a nice light lady, and that I'd write to him tomorrow and tell him your name. What is your name, please? Don't you think secrets are fun? Just refer to me as the nice light lady. It sounds so mysterious. The, the mechanics of their relationship is a little odd. You just kind of have to gloss over the fact that there's a whole duty of care, one psychiatric patient taking another psychiatric patient off the premises and going camping with them and then kind of adopting them and then where's the mother in all of this and she obviously doesn't give two hoots and anyhow gloss just gloss revel instead at well at betty davis's unabashed acknowledgement of a woman's sexuality which is so rare for 1942 Dearest darling. I had read that part in novels about men not liking girls to be prudes. That's all I had to go by in novels. Leslie told me he'd rather have me than any girl on board or any girl he'd ever known because I was so responsive. He said that the others were like silly schoolgirls compared to my lovemaking. The other thing is the fact that at the end of the film she is there willing to argue fiercely with her guy for her rights. I don't care what he says. No self-respecting man would allow such self-sacrifice as yours to go on indefinitely. Why, Jerry, that's the most conventional, pretentious, pious speech I ever heard in my life. I simply don't know you. I can't go on forever taking, taking, taking from you and, and giving nothing, darling. Oh, I see. Oh, forgive me, Jerry, it's your pride, since... Let me explain. And I really enjoyed seeing them fight together. I mean, much has been made of the fact that, yes, she became an independent woman, but she had to get thin and beautiful in order to do so successfully. And I see their point, really. But just think of when it was made, 1942, the fact that at the end of the film, she does what she wants to do the most. It's, it's her decision and she, she does what is going to make her happy, I think, which is just so important. I, I love watching this film. I love watching the psychiatry unfold. I love watching it for Ori Kelly's gowns, which seriously, at some points in time, you sit there watching them going, oh, what the gown? It's just a beautiful film. Oh, now, interestingly, now Voyager, the shooting schedule went over. I think 
Betty Davis's assistants perhaps made things go out of schedule. Anyhow, Claude Rains rapped on Now Voyager. He went home, he went to bed, and then in the morning he got up and he started making a little film called Casablanca. Casablanca also involves Hal B. Wallace, Paul Henreid, Ori Kelly and Max Steiner. Um, just, just, yeah, sink your teeth into Now Voyager. That's what it's there for. They just don't go into it half-heartedly. There's no point. Watch it, watch it for the gowns. Watch it for the tears. Watch it, oh, watch it for Mary Wicks. She plays the nurse Dora and she, well, okay, I'm not going to steal Betty Davis's line, but she's really, really good. Just watch it. Just lie back and sink into it. Now Voyager, 9 out of 10. <laughs>